Hello everyone! Since I've been spending the last few days just grinding through time, I figured I might as well put this to some kind of use. So today we're going to be looking at some of the things we can see in winter, easter eggs, and secrets, and festivals. We're on year 101 by the way, and obviously it's only the first of spring so we're just going to go ahead and skip it right into winter. Oh, and the first cool easter egg we're going to look at are these immortal children. I've had them for over 70 years, and they're still just standing here in my bedroom. Believe me, I've tried. Boy, that was fun. Here we are, all the way in winter. The first thing we're going to look at is something some of you might know from way back when, and that's a secret winter door which is actually hiding down in the corner of your field. You can see it just below my player. This one doesn't actually do anything, it's just an easter egg. You can actually do the map escape glitch to go down and try and interact with it, but it doesn't actually do anything, just a cool little feature. On the 8th we have the creatively named Festival of Ice, and it happens near Marnie's Ranch. Not the woods, but it's near Marnie's Ranch. Here we can find a pair wearing sunglasses, a typical Canadian home, and a cyborg. Lee is wondering if someday she'll actually be able to make something like this. Oh, ice, a beautiful material to sculpt in, but so impermanent. Just like marriage. Robin's working away, I'm sorry, but carving ice parapets requires my undivided attention. Yeah, that's fine by me, you're not that interesting anyway. Shane, fan favorite. If it was up to me, I'd probably have a pizza festival at the saloon instead. That's why you get zero respect from everyone else in town. Maru's admiring a snowman, she doesn't want to build an ice sculpture because she's scared it will leave her. I'm not very creative when it comes to snowmen. That's basically just saying you're not very creative. Abigail, what do you think of my snow goon? It kind of looks like Pam. What did these guys do? This isn't a snowman. What kind of snowman should we make? Something funky. Snowmen are boring. Think outside the box. Um, okay, I think I might stick with something more conventional. Well, good job so far. You've got two pieces of snow smashed together. What's Pam doing down here? I plan on winning the ice fishing competition. Well, she's got an unfair advantage. As a bear, she can naturally scoop the fish right out of the water. I'm not even going to touch on whatever that is. Are your legs cold yet? Hmph. Wife dragged me out into the cold for this? If I was her, I'd wheel you into one of the ice holes. Alright, Mayor Lewis, I'm ready to start. Welcome to the Festival of Ice. Okay, I've been here for a while. Can we get started? The highlight of today's festival is the ice fishing competition. We set up the frozen lake and stocked it full of fish. Just let me know when you're ready to compete, okay? For the third time, I'm ready to go. Now, to win the most exciting of festivals, all you need to do is catch, I believe, five fish. That's not so hard to do, the hardest part is just casting in the hole. And if there's one thing the mumps is good at, it's getting it in the hole. Ready when you are, Lewis. You must catch your fish here from these holes in the ice. You can actually catch them in the river, but they don't count towards a competition. Is everyone ready? Yes, for the hundredth time. Begin. I gotta stay away from the Pam hole. The easiest way to do it is just do short little casts like that. You know what, fishing's good and all, but I feel like I could be making some progress with Haley while I'm here. I guess winter isn't all bad. Playing in the snow can be fun. Tell me about it. We should go for coffee later. How's your sister? Wow, this snowman needs a makeover. Who made this? What snowman? You talking about me? That's rude. Extreme temperatures can put your body under a lot of stress, so make sure to bundle up. Yeah, you would say that. I feel bad for all the poor cold animals out there. Yeah, if only they had like fur or something to keep them warm. Hey mumps, are you gonna enter the ice fishing competition? In fact, I'm competing right now. Cold? Nah, I never get cold. Yeah, vampires need blood to get cold. Okay, Mayor Lewis, I'm done. I caught two fish. Welcome to the Festival of Ice. Okay, I think we've got that established by now. Can I just kind of leave? Oh, I can. Okay, it's been nice guys, but I'm out of here. Wow, that's a lot of fish. Yep, pretty amazing. The smell. Yeah, well, what do you expect? They're fish. Now for the winner of this year's ice fishing competition, Willie with five big fresh fish. Yes, the professional fisherman won. Who'd have thought? Can I go now? I've got other stuff to cover. Here's your prize, Willie. Enjoy. You get to keep the five fish that you caught. All right, one of the things we're going to be looking for in this video is a train. Turns out one of the trains in winter can actually show up carrying loads of presents. So we're going to try and find that. I had one spawn already, but it wasn't the right train. It was a regular train. I'm foolishly going to assume it has a higher chance of spawning on the 25th of winter because that's a special day. That's also the Feast of the Winter Stars, so we're just going to go ahead and skip it to that and really hope for a train. In a perfect world, I'd be able to hit the Festival of the Winter Star, cover the other easter egg, and get the train all today, so we'll see if I get that lucky. And I'm never that lucky. Now for the Feast of the Winter Star, you're supposed to check your mail a week beforehand on the 18th, and it's kind of like a secret Santa thing. You get notified via the mail of a secret friend to bring a special gift to. You get extra friendship points with that, blah blah blah. Well, I'm not going through 100 years worth of mail, so we're just going to go ahead and guess at who my secret friend is. 
The next easter egg we need to go around the train station to get to to the unused mountain summit. If you haven't seen that already, I'm sure you'll figure it out eventually. I did some videos on it way back when, blah blah blah, you'll see. Okay, I stopped moving apparently, I think I'm stuck. And the Feast of the Winter Star has already begun and I'm missing it because I gotta be way out here looking for this stupid thing. Don't worry though, we've got time for everything. This is the unused mountain summit. It was once going to be a part of the game, it is now unused, basically you can get to it, you just gotta sneak around the train station. Now on the 25th of winter and through random other days you can see stuff in the sky, but today we'll see Santa Claus if we wait patiently enough. And interestingly, if you press F4 to put it in screenshot mode, it actually takes away the black bars on either side and you can see a little more of what's out there. Wow, so how's that for luck? A train just showed up as I'm up here. So I guess I gotta go back to the train station, I'll come back and find Santa in a minute. Uh, train station is somewhere here, bathhouse, there we go. Alright, hopefully we got a present train. Oh, I can't see what's in it yet. And it's a regular train. Okay, so I just wasted my time by coming all the way back here. Awesome. Wow, I thought for sure a train on the 25th would have the presents, but fine, whatever. Okay, I guess we're going back to the uh, mountain summit. The really annoying part about this is it's really hard to find that little spot to get into for the mountain summit. This could actually take a lot of time, at which point I might miss Santa altogether, so this is a lot of fun. Finally, finally back in here, so now we're going to go back to the waiting game. Maybe Santa doesn't approve of divorce. Because it's starting to get late and he still hasn't showed up for me yet. I fear I may have missed him while I was chasing that stupid train. Wait a sec, we got a Santa sighting. It's pretty dark because it's pretty late in the day but you can see him crossing the sky right now. On occasion you can see a UFO here too but we get Santa today. So maybe he does approve of divorce. Just like everyone else. Well that was exciting. Time to restart the day and do the festival. Pam just said hi to that slime. That was a pretty rare event in itself. Hopefully I actually caught that in recording. I hit the record button as soon as I could. Okay, we have a train passing through again. We're actually going to go check that out right now. Hopefully this is the right train. I'm not sure if it's going to be the same one every single time on the same day or not. And it appears to be the same train as before. Actually, it is a slightly different train, so I might be able to replay the day until the right train shows up, because this one is definitely different. I'm kind of glad for that, because if not, I was just going to have to skip through a lot of days and play the waiting game, and I don't really want to do that anymore, because that's all I've been doing lately. All the way up to year 100 and something. This is the Feast of the Winter Star. Pam, I thought you were at the bus stop. I'm still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. That's alarming, as it is the entire town is in danger. What a beautiful tree. What is it with you and trees? Very alarming. Do you want to hear the legend of the winter star? I guess since we're here, I forgot talking to Willie now. In the night sky of winter, there's a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. Little bit of lore for you. They believe that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with good fortune. Some even claim the mysterious fruit known as star drop is connected to the winter star in some way. It's all about aliens. It comes from the sky. Oh, that's it? Okay, that's not bad. Clinic hours. Okay, I want to talk to this guy. Hey, good afternoon. Marlin. That's funny, I didn't even know his name. Abigail. Nothing like a piping hot feast on a cold winter's day, huh? I don't really know. I eat like once every hundred years. Mumps, what are you hoping to find under the spirit tree? Uh, watering can, because I love watering so much. All work and no play? That's not very fun. That's the life I've chosen. I hope there's a new camera for me under the spirit tree. I don't. You don't deserve it. Wheels, a feast for some stupid star? Humbug. Guess was just telling me about his artisan candy canes. Yawn. Ha, tell me about it. It's a fine art making candy canes. You really gotta search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. Well, you have two options. A Joji Mart and Pierre store. Alright, where's Mary Lewis? I just want to get this over with. Today is time to be thankful for this year's good fortune and festival. How do we start? I, uh, don't actually know how to start the festival. Usually they start with Mary Lewis, but this one doesn't seem to want to start. He's got nothing left to say. Well, I tried. You've all seen the Feast of the Winter Star anyway, we're not missing much. Let's go find a present train. And today, this time, we didn't even get a train. So we're going to try this day one more time. If not, we'll go searching for trains elsewhere. Interestingly enough, again, no train today. But there's always next year. Well, for now, I give up trying to find the present train. I made three trains spawn in winter. None of them were the present train, but I found three of them. What are the odds of that? So instead, we'll go with a picture of the present train, slowly moving across the screen. That's pretty much just as good. It's a rail train. I can't believe this has been in the game this entire time and I've never even seen this. It's because it only happens in winter, only when a train shows up, which isn't very often. And even the three trains I saw in this winter, well, they were all just regular trains. 
Well that's it for this fun winter video, back to grinding through endless years, hope you liked it, thanks for watching.